space kind of do everything. And other leaders didn't like people from the school because I was afraid of the sister. I go to a hospital, I'm afraid of the spring mantle and stand for an hour. And she didn't like it, so they tried to kill me. And I'm home and I pray to God. I said, God, it's only you to save me. I'm working for you. You have to work for me now. And I lie down home and I'm crying. This, this is important I'll be here this month. And um, the Lord sent a message. My little friend, Glenda, she'll be here and tell me that God have a message here for me. So I said, wait, wait, let's go to church. She said, I'll read. I said, what time is Sunday? She said, not Sunday, Saturday, evening, 7 o'clock. No, she didn't listen, that really listen. She didn't know I was crying out to God and telling God what was happening to me. And God hear my prayer and send me a little message to bring me here. And when I come, Papa starts to pray for me every time I come to it in our youth, you know. My dear sister here used to come and hold me down and pray for me. I stop coming because I live in Carol. I don't have a vehicle to bring me. Sometimes the pastor then have to go, sometimes pastor send me vehicle to drop me home. And I stop coming. And then the Lord come again and tell me the children have to baptize my grandchildren. And I know I go in all different churches because I can't come here. I don't stay home. I said, Lord, where I will carry them children to baptize, you show me. And the Lord said, and I just send my prophet already. So I write the note at night and I bring it and I give it to the prophet. And prophet begin. And for two weeks past and see a call me. I said, Prophet, I is the first to go right in the left and tell you that the Lord said that you have to baptize your friend. They come and they baptize, I start coming again and drop off. I come and I get sick class here, yeah? again with witchcraft. They bury me in the cemetery. And as I was praying to Sessa, I start to pray, I start to pray. And I see this woman's face come up. And I say, I'm not praying for you. What you, what you come up for? And I opened my eyes for five minutes. And I went back again praying. And I said, she come up. Again, and you are safe, follow her, you know, boys. And I follow her, and I pray on my bed. I went in the cemetery, yes. and I start to take out myself from there. And I come out the second week, I can't walk. I am in the hospital because I had the blood. You are safe. Your blood count is very low with all the blood the demands are out for me. Go by prophet again. As I sleep in, I hear prophet on the radio when you are speaking, and I turn and I open my eyes. Because I always keep hearing the radio on. And he said, I send him by prophet, go by prophet, and the prophet spring me up. Is there a send you? Is there home? And so I start coming. So two weeks I wasn't here. Remember, I live in Spa, Ken Village. So that is why I go all this come. But God has sent me in this place, and I testify to him. And I was sitting down there with this, with this sister, yes, sister, and he said, sitting down there, and she come and talk to me. She said, you are sending her to talk to me. Go and talk to this woman here. Go and talk to this woman. She said that the Lord never speak to her yet. And she said, she told me why she watched me. And she was still speaking to her, go and talk to me. And when she come down here and she talked to me, she started to understand something. She said, you know, you have to baptize. You have to wash. And something she started to me. And she got the way she to stand up and mind. I said, Susan, God really sent you to talk to me, you know. And I thank God for that. So I'm going to to wash this time. I'm not taking away. I don't want to take away from me and I gave them it. Because I go through too much. Too much. And God had me here. Because if I wasn't working for God, I have no husband 24 years and I gave my life to God. I gave up everything in the face of you, family, everybody, to work for God. And I know God has me to Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, we have um, offered up of two babies here tonight, amen? I would like the parents to come and the second parents, please come tonight. If you're here tonight, just come quickly. They offered up of the babies. Are they on the outside? Amen, all right. Praise the Lord. They here? All right. Let's come. Praise the Lord. This is one of the family here. A bit of a source that they have, they have one in the back. No one's in the back. There's three. Yes. Three of them. All right, let it come quickly. Let's all come on there. Parents, second parents. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. As we stand, Lord of God, I want to give this rest of the service to the Lord and Lord of God and our prophet, Junior Peter Guy Martins. Put your hands together for him tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. 
Understand by scripture that God that gives life. Amen, somebody. Amen. He is the light that lighted every man that cometh into this world. Amen, somebody. So when we come to offer up a child, we are saying thank you to God for giving us this life. And we are asking God in return to use this child upon the earth for his honor and his glory and to protect that child and to keep that child. Amen, somebody. I mean, understand it is the responsibility of the parents to grow up those children in the way of the Lord. Amen. And the Bible said when they are old, they will not depart. Amen. What's the name of the child? Rebecca what? Rebecca Nicom. Okay. You all come together? Of course, I'm the second pair of us behind. So, because of the all of you here, we're doing all of you together, all right? So the parents is gonna go first, and then the second parents, all right? So you all gonna take vows before God on the behalf of your children before we pray with them, all right? So you're gonna repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this life you have given me. Lord, I come to you, honoring you for this life. I will try my best according to the knowledge that I have to grow up this child in the right way, in your way. Give me strength, give me grace to do what I need to do for these children. In Jesus name, amen. Second parents, this is your vow. Your responsibility is to assist in whatever way necessary. Wherever you can assist in these children's life, that is your responsibility. To help guide, to help protect. Maybe the, the parents, some way, maybe something might happen to them, some sickness, some problem in your home, and the child needs you. It's your responsibility to be there as often as you can. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So second parents can repeat this vow. Say, Heavenly Father, I vow before you to support these children and their, and their parents as much as I can. Give me the grace, the wisdom to do so, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, we're going to pray for the children now. You open them up. Set your hand towards this child. Father, we place your blessing upon this child. Upon the home and the family. That your angels will encamp around them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your peace will be with this child. In Jesus' mighty name. We place your blessing upon this children. That your peace will be upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we offer them up unto you, Lord, the life you have given in return, that you will be with them and use them for your honor and your glory. We say thank you for this life that you have given. We pray, oh God, that you will keep this child, and that your angels will encamp around it, as they have took the vows before you, Lord, no matter how small or how great. We pray that they will honor it, Lord Jesus, that your peace be upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody say, Amen. 
Amen. Let's see your seats, all right? Let me do the seats up. All your information, all your certificates, right? Make sure you take all your information up. And somebody will take for your certificates. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands unto the Lord tonight. Lift our hands unto Jesus. Lift our hands unto Jesus. Now we're going to begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. It's in your heart, it's in your body. Right where you are, welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Ask Him to take control, to take charge, to bring deliverance.